Hey everybody, welcome to my latest video. Today we are going to go over how to put PS3 games from your PS3 to your computer to be used in the PS3 emulator. We have certain things we need. We need to have the PS3 and the PC both hooked up to your network through an Ethernet cable. You need a program called FileZilla, which I'll show you how to download. And you need to be able to run your PS3 with Hen and Multiman to be able to do this. But I'm going to show you how. Alright, the first thing we want to do is be able to find your PS3 IP address. You're going to need this to put into the program in a little bit. So you go over to the settings section. You go all the way down to network settings. Uh, make sure your internet connection is enabled and that is set up on the wired. Then you want to go up and check your status, settings and connection status, and make sure you find everything's here. You see it's wired. You have your IP address. You need to write that down because you're going to need it later. And that's how you find the, in, the IP address for your PS3. And we'll move on to the next step. Hey everyone, in today's video we're going to go over how to take your games off your PS3 and use them in the PS3 emulator. Um, we're going to need a few things. We're going to need a program called FileZilla. We'll download that here. So we'll go ahead and do that first. We're going to download this file right here. Just download the free one. This is all we need. You're also going to need to be able to have your computer and PS3 hooked up to the network with, with Ethernet cables. We'll need more than likely we're going to need a copy of the PS3 firmware update, which I'll have a link to and we'll show you how to do that if we need to. You're going to need the game on your PS3 already or have the disc to put it on, which I will show you how to do that. Now you're also going to need to have your PS3 will need to be broken with Hen or have Hen added on it to it. And you'll need Multiman to do this. I'm going to have videos to do both in the description because they're better than anything I could show you how to do. So if you're at this point of the video and you need to get Hen and Multiman put on you need to check out those videos that I guarantee they'll get you able to do it. Once you get those on, then come back to this video and we'll teach you how to put your games from the PS3 hard drive into the PS3 emulator using network setting. All right, now we have our file download. We're going to open it and install FileZilla on our computer. We'll just hit agree. And make sure you decline any of these offers unless you actually want some of this stuff on your computer. But I don't think you'll want to. Um, I put it for anyone on the computer for myself because I have a couple different accounts. And I do like desktop icons, so I'm going to add that. Um, put it wherever you want. You're well aware of how to browse your hard drives or whatever. and Put it where you want her. And there we go. It's a very quick and simple deal here. So we'll pull this up later when we get ready to show you how to do the network file transfer. Now make sure you have your game loaded in the PS3 and we'll show you how to copy your disk to your hard drive using Multiman. Push the triangle, hit copy, and then if you had a USB or extra external hard drive or whatever, you would be able to scroll down and check that. 
boat. We don't have one in here right now, so we're going to copy it to our hard drive. So we hit the X for confirm. And then it gives you another chance to back out of it. We're going to go ahead and say yes. This takes quite a while, so we will come back when this is finished and show you the next step. Now that the game is copied, we just want to hit the square button to go back. And now you see we have a disk and we have a hard drive copy of God of War. So now we can use multi-man through the network to move files to our PC. So we can go ahead and just take the disk out and we'll be able to play the game and we'll have the files that we need. So we will go ahead and go to file manager go to the PS3 root there we go and we'll go down to dev hdo push the X and down to the large capital games and there's our copy of God of War there are the the game file the game update and the disk so we can copy paste or whatever we want with that inside multi-man so we'll just back out of there well, that's one way to get the game on here you can also make an ISO file the same way by pushing the triangle like you did earlier and hitting the ISO or hit make ISO and then you can bring that to your computer the same way we're going to bring these files and then open it with the computer and you'll have the same files but I'm going to show you that in a different video but this way is the best way I believe to do it so we're going to continue with the tutorial and the next step will be to actually open up FileZilla and move the network or move the files through the network so here's you got to make sure you have multi-man on on the PS3 to be able to open the network and the PS3 hard drive and stuff through FileZilla. So make sure that's on and then we'll open FileZilla. Now that we have FileZilla open we can go up here and see what different areas we have. First we have to type in the uh, IP address for our PlayStation 3 and then hit quick connect remember this is with multi-man on running on the PlayStation so we want to go ahead and we'll get this message saying that it's insecure that's okay because we're only on our own network so we'll be fine this area is where the PS3 hard drive will load and all the folders this area is the PC's folders and hard drives. We're going to expand it here and take a closer look. When you come in here, you will find the dev HDDO file, and then you'll open it up into the large games file, and then you'll find the God of War. Here we have all of our files we need the disk file, the PS update file, and the game file are folders I guess technically. Now we'll find a place over on the computer where we want to move those files to here in a second but first there's all the files come back find the area we want them in on the PC and then we'll go ahead and drag them right into the file on the PC that we want to use and that will start the file transfer now we'll have a very long file transfer this takes 
quite a long time to do this, but this will actually put the files on the PC so we can load them into the PS3 emulator and play the game on PC. This is a great way to get games like NCAA 14 that are hard to get, but you have a copy on your PS3 and you want to play it in 4K on the PS3 emulator. It's a great way to do it. You can take and do a digital download. That, say you bought it from the PlayStation Store and you can move it over here. I'm going to look into that a little bit closer and probably do another video on that. But that's how you get this step. We'll come back after the files are all loaded and show you how to put them into the emulator. All right, the game is finally transferred over to the main computer. It took quite a long time to do it. All right, the game is finally transferred over to the main computer. So we are done in the program FileZilla. So we can probably close this out. We'll just minimize it for now. So we want to go to downloads. Here's our game file. We'll drag it to our desktop. This is what it looks like on the inside. This one has an extra folder compared to a lot of them because it's got extra stuff with it. But here's the PS update file. You got the disc and the game file, and then the extras. So now I believe there's two ways you can put this in. You could put this in a file or make a folder and put it in there for, you know, like just say God of War or something. And then you open the emulator. All right, now there's one way I like to do it. And I know I've seen other people go over here and find add game and then go to the file where they put the game so mine's on the desktop right now so we'd have be able to select folder and then it would add the game but i like to do something a little different and i think this is better this is also the way you put in college football revamped so you come up here to the dev h DDO file and you open disk and you copy and paste the game in here or drag it in or whatever. So that'll take a you know a couple minutes or whatever to transfer it over and then should be in the emulator. We'll just go and refresh it. Now the emulator has been loaded with the game so we want to pull it back up and refresh it should be there there it is god of war so that's how you transfer a game on your ps3 through the network that you have at your house or a direct connection with the ethernet cable between the computer and the PlayStation and you can bring all your games over you can get a disc get it off of there put it on your hard drive on the PS3 and then move it over you can probably switch saves back and forth there it is loaded up I wish you all good luck I appreciate you watching the video if you wouldn't mind hit that sub I got a sub goal going and I'm trying to get to a thousand subs and we'll catch you on the next one.